The next rule is what we call the power rule. Ma'am, pag nag-try, ma'am, tas tama, 4 points. Hindi, no. Ang maximum niyo is 3 points kung tama. Batang to. Okay, next na, power rule. For the power rule, it says that if you're getting the integral of a function raised to a certain power, you have to add 1 to the exponent and divide by the exponent plus c. Okay, but there is a precaution here and must not be equal to negative 1. Otherwise, mag zero yan. And we have a different rule for that. Okay, so let's have our first example. Say we have the integral of x squared dx. So what we do is to raise it to a certain power plus 1. So that's 2 plus 1. Kung ano ang exponent siya ang denominator. So that's 2 plus 1. And you'll get x cubed over 3. Anong kulang sa final answer natin? Alright, very good. Plus C. And that's it. Oh, another one, another one, another one. Say we have the integral of x raised to negative 5 dx. How about this? What we do again is to add 1 to the exponent. So we have x raised to negative 5 plus 1 over negative 5 plus 1. So you'll get neg uh, x raised to negative 4 over negative 4. But we could still simplify this. How would we simplify it? Please take note, the exponent is negative. So we could still simplify it and bring it down based on your loss of exponents. No, we will not cancel it. We will reciprocate, get the inverse. 1 over negative 4x raised to 4. You could only cancel if they are both numerical coefficients. But if it's an exponent, we cannot cancel. Okay? Plus c. Ayan. There we go. Nung binaba mo na siya, nag-positive na yung exponent. That is according to your laws of exponents that you studied in Gen Math. Alright. Do you need another example or uh, are you good with this? Kung another example pa, pa part 